Welcome to Factual Fiction, where the facts are fiction and the fiction is facts! Okay. In breaking news, sadly, Little Red Riding Hood was found dead last night hanging from her cloak. Was a murder, suicide, or accident? Brooke Sullivan, find out. Sullivan? Ah! Hello, Brooke Sutherland with you. I'm here on the crime scene of where Little Red Riding Hood was found hanging by that very coat. Here I have with us the lead investigator, Mr. Pike. Mr. Pike, what do you think happened here? Well, Miss Riding Hood was hanging by this very branch by her coat. We're still not quite sure if it was suicide, murder, or simply action. If it was murder, we do have suspects. We have the grandma, the wolf. <laughs> and the woodcutter. But we are going to send the tree, Miss Riding Hood, the leaves around it, and the whole woods to the forensics lab to find out what really happened. Thank you, Mr. Park. Now we have with us the key witness, Jenna Kingsley. Jenna, what happened here over the tail? Well, walking in the woods and I heard a rustle in the bush. So I went to see what it was and I saw a little red hanging from the branch. So I ran to get some help. But the police just told me to go home and that it was okay. And Hi! Look, I'm on camera! That's enough of us. Back to Eli. <laughs> Thank you for that lovely news report because we were definitely listening. Yes, very wonderful. Which one was it again? Oh. In other news, Sanders elves have gone on strike. Will the good kids at this will be getting pressure this year? Tiffany Bubbles, to find out. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Now, why have you gone on strike? Because we don't get the credit that we deserve. And is there anything you'd like to say to Santa? Put a t-shirt on. We're sick of your belly button in our faces. <laughs> <laughs> will the kids of this year be receiving presents? If we get our right. Oh, I just want to gift wrap you and take you home. <laughs> Back to you, Eli. Please turn over. Ah, it said it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany Bubbles. In this case, you really can judge a book by its cover. Bubbles! <laughs> right. Now to other news. Snow White has gone and sold her seven dwarfs into slave labor to find her own line of laundry. <laughs> We'll talk to Snow White later, but here's Johnny Coward with the dwarves to find out. John Howard! <laughs> Here we have Dopey, Sleepy, Bastrel and Grumpy! G Grumpy! <laughs> now Grumpy, how do you feel in your new job as a nanny? It sucks! I mean the little brats, they poo and fart all the time. And these hills are killing me! <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to Snow White? Have you ever wondered, fairy godmother? No. <gasps> Pardon? 
I've always wanted a fairy godmother. <laughs> exactly. This is one of our value customers who bought one of our products. <laughs> so what do you love about the product? Nothing. Everything. It's the best product I've ever bought. <laughs> That's right. Bring on the fairy godmother. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? This product could be all yours for three easy payments of $409,029. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Hi, this is the gossip section. I'm Amelia Pin. And I'm Tamara Hall. And the first story today is Dorothy gone mad. After months of walking down that yellow brick road, she's finally gone insane. Here's Skittle Smitten covering the story. What's your name? Dr. John Smith McClellan and I but it do Okay, Doctor Who says, what happened? Well yesterday, when Dorothy wacko over there. <laughs> well when she didn't come for a regular checkup, you know <laughs> you're a little grow going mad, a bit <laughs> Yeah, so when I called her up, she started saying all this random gibberish. Observe. Good witch! So I went over to her to see how she was, and she was all completely emotionally, emotionally unstable and on the verge of a breakdown. Observe. Wicked bitch. Oh dear. Wicked witch. Again. Their own rugby league team. 